So the last sim video I did, when I looked at the differences in the transfer heights, I looked into the comments and I had quite a few on a good conversation with Mad Max's dog. One of the ones he did point out, highlighted it, so he said a flat top exhaust port gives a stronger pulse to the expansion chamber uh, than a slightly curved one by the expense of a narrow power band. Does the flat port actually give a stronger pulse and more power. I've used uh, an RD250 air cooled sim pack that I had. That is the port, so this is the curved one I've done. Uh, the duration is 186, they're both the same. Uh, expected port diameter is the same. Area is the same. This one's a little bit wider. Look at the specific time area. I've got a blowdown area of 448 and 25.1 horsepower so that's for the curved port you can see it's got the same timing 186 same diameter roughly the same mil it is a little bit narrower because that's what I had to do to get it because you get more area at the top if we look at the STA 448 millimeters for the blowdown for the port area it can actually harness 27.14 horsepower. So there is more area of the port exposed quicker because it's less curved. And as stated, I would say a stronger pulse as opposed to being smeared when it is curved. Results. As, as said, actually, as stated, uh, it's made more power. So this is the flat exhaust port. It's made an extra 0.6 for horsepower. Less drive up the slope, a little bit more over rev. This could be geared out. And I think it still would be probably the better curve. I think that is not just the pulse, but also it's got that little bit more time area. That's the curve. I'm going to have a look at a couple of graphs now, see if I can explain why I think you may be picking up a little bit more power. What I've shown here is two exhaust pressure traces. So the flat is the red, it curves the black. And as you can see, when the exhaust port opens, the pressure's building up quicker. And it's just that little bit quicker, probably a little bit longer. And it's getting back that positive pressure wave at the exhaust port to push the mixture back in. Is arriving a little bit earlier, probably still just in tune. Whereas this is probably just a little bit out on the timing. And it's not as effective as stuffing that, that mixture back in. So this is one of the reasons I believe it's staying, making power, because it's still in tune. This graph throughout the cycle, we've got the trapping efficiency, so how well the mixture is trapped in the cylinder. And as you can see here for the flat exhaust port, we talked about that exhaust pulse arriving at a better timing. It's a little bit earlier and is what it's effectively doing is stopping as much the fresh charge getting out of the cylinder and it's keeping more in the cylinder. It's so obviously more fresh charge in the cylinder, more power. And here we can see in one of the efficiencies, this is charging efficiency, so how well the cylinder is charged. And again, it corresponds just like the last graph. And with that earlier positive pressure wave, that's keeping either the fresh charge getting out of the cylinder or stuffing some back in, depending on how you look on it. Now, what's your... You were my love.